One of my personal favorite races in all of track and field is the 300 meter dash. Now I have talked about this race for years, and that's because it requires nothing short of amazing fitness to run well. In order to find success in this event, you will need solid speed like you would have in a 200 meter race, but you also need world class strength that you would find in the 400 meters. And the all time list in this event certainly represents this requirement. In the history of the outdoor men's 300, only three athletes have ever run under 31. And these are three of the greatest all around sprinters to ever compete. There's Usain Bolt from Jamaica, Michael Johnson from the United States, and also the world record holder, Wade Van Niekerk from South Africa, who currently holds the record at 30.81. Every time someone runs a very fast 300, it certainly means something quite significant based on the demanding nature of this event. And well, that is exactly what we just saw in one special race. In the 2024 South Carolina Invitational, we saw Stephen Gardner clash with Matthew Bowling and Matthew Hudson Smith from Great Britain. This was a very interesting showdown between three talented sprinters. However, Stephen Gardner simply has to be the favorite. Back in 2022, Gardner set the still standing world record at 31.56 seconds, a time that improved on the previous mark of Noah Lyles by just over three tenths of a second. This strong showing was a very impressive representation of the fitness that Steven Gardner can get to, and it showcased one of the smoothest world records that I had ever seen. And given this amazing performance and the incredible accolades that Steven Gardner has on his resume, he once again showcased amazing form over the 300. After a fair start, it was pretty much an even race over the opening 100 meters. And given that this is an indoor race, it's exactly one and a half laps of a 200 meter track. As you can see, there was no big break for the opening 150 meters. However, over the second half of this race, Steven Gardner showed his true form and separated from the rest of the field with ease. These final 100 meters was just Steven Gardner galloping his way to an amazing victory. And with a finishing time of 31.78 seconds, this is now the second fastest indoor 300 performance of all time, only landing behind his own world record from 2022. Now, finishing in second was Matthew Bowling in 32.56, and finishing in third was Matthew Hudson Smith in 33.82. However, absolutely dominating this race was Steven Gardner from the Bahamas, and this might actually be a huge step forward for Gardner, who has had some very unfortunate injuries over the previous few years. After his amazing Olympic gold in 2021, Gardner was the favorite moving into 2022 and 2023. However, he has been dealing with injury for the previous couple of seasons, and even though he was running very well in 2023, he attained an injury as the world championships were going on. So hopefully this year he is back to top form, and if he is, he very well could be the man to beat in the 400. When Steven Gardner really gets to his top running, there is next to no one that can keep up with him. We have seen this on the biggest stages throughout the years, and perhaps this 31.78 for his season opener could represent something very special in 2024. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.